Flowers are from Shaw Productions that made all this possible. It's Charlie Mingus's birthday, and he's celebrating it in Chanhassen, well, Minnesota. He's 54. He's, gonna, he's 54, and they're going to be roses tomorrow. Charlie I'm Mingus and his group are appearing at the Bronco Bar. Flowers because I don't have a chance to uh, give him water when he's dying. I don't, I don't die without a little help. Or, you know, they don't know they're dying yet. Uh, so anyone like these flowers, I should turn on them and say thanks for the birthday party. The voice of Charlie Mingus on stage at the Bronco Bar, Chanhassen, Minnesota. No provincialism in the state of Minnesota. A giant one of the true professional composers for the jazz orchestra, appearing with his group, George Adams. Danny Richmond. And they're about to go on stage for their second performance. It's not April in Paris, but it's April in Chanhassen, Minnesota. At this moment, Charlie Mingus portly sampled some of his birthday cake, and that should be the high point of recognition. It's a long way from the village vanguard and Paris and Manhattan. Jazz in Chanhassen is probably uh, something quite uh, unusual. It's a phenomenon, in fact. This is theater country and cow country horses and there's pasture land and it's uh, a suburban community of a one million five hundred thousand community minneapolis st paul the edge of it and it's charlie mingus's birthday and, and i don't know whether he planned it this way or not but he celebrated at the bronco bar in chanhassen minnesota this is lake hammond for minnesota public radio and i'd like you to meet two of Charlie Mingus's colleagues, Jack Walrath, trumpet, and Daniel Mixon and piano, and uh, they've been helping to celebrate this birthday concert. What about your leader in his 54th year, Daniel? Uh, I'm glad he's here, you know. I have an opportunity, I'm new in the band, and I have an opportunity to play with him in, uh, at this point of his life now. You know, it's kind of hard running around the country uh, at that age, you know, and this, to see another birthday, it would be beautiful for me to see him see another birthday and playing this music that he's created through the years. Through the years, Charlie Mingus at 54, and that was Daniel Mixon, who works from the keyboard in the group that Charlie Mingus is touring with right now. Jack Walrath, trumpet player, in his 54th year, celebrating another milestone, Charlie Mingus. And Jack, you've been with the group for a while and uh, watched it develop and... Uh, assimilated those compositions that uh, Charlie is uh, the well and creator of. What about your leader in his 54th year? Well, I feel the same way. I'd like to see him around a lot longer because uh, he's, still, he's still out there, he's still playing, you know, and he's, and he's still active and he's still creating. And like Duke Ellington uh, was 75 and uh, I think that he would like, he, he likes Duke, and I think he would like, I would like to see him around just as long, and I, you know, I think he could keep creating also just that long. Jack Walrath and Daniel Mixon, is there any generation gap in the uh, Charlie Mingus group at all? No. Nah. Nah, 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 not musically. No, nah, I feel the same way. Yeah. Well, music bridges all things and speaks an international language. Right, I agree. Daniel Mixon, piano, Jack Wall with trumpet with Charlie Mingus. Thanks very much for uh, your comments on Charlie Mingus's 54th birthday, 
celebrated in all places, Chanhassen, Minnesota, which is a long way from Paris and a long way from the village vanguard in Greenwich Village in New York. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Keep pushing the music. It's Charlie Mingus's 54th birthday, and that's a milestone. Thank you. And this giant creative force celebrated his birthday in, of all places, uh, the Bronco Bar, which yeah. is located in Chanhassen, Minnesota, in uh, the provincial Middle West. However, the provincialism just dropped out of sight, and the cultural uh, contact was at its highest. George Adams, noted and skilled tenor player, helped celebrate that birthday. In fact, played his uh, <laughs> signal theme, the happy birthday theme, as a prelude to goodbye pork pie hat and a number of other items. George, on Charlie's 54th birthday, and you as a member of his uh, current group, you've had a chance to observe the leader in action for a long time. Right. Now, what would you say about Charlie Mingus? Well, first of all, I'd like to say thanks for having me here on, on the interview. And as far as Charlie Mingus, the man and the leader is concerned, it's been wonderful working with him. I've been working with him now a little better than three years. And, you know, I, I joined the band when he was kind of uh, getting back on his feet. And so far, everything has been, you know, it's been uh, a lot of strength. You know, he's really getting a lot of strength. He's going as good as ever now. I would say uh, one of the most fascinating aspects is, is the current developments and the changes in, in and the richness of the compositions that uh, come out of his head and his mind and his soul. Well, I think that a lot of it comes from the uh, inspiration from uh, Duke Ellington and guys like Duke Ellington. Of course, you don't have many Duke Ellingtons, but uh, I think it's just inspiration and uh, Mingus' association through the music for the last 30 years. And he's beginning to blossom like a flower now within his own... Uh, within his own self as a musician and as a person. You know, there's been a lot of things said about Charles through the years, but I mean, I know him as a beautiful person. You know, he's really sweet down inside. He certainly is. I met him first in 1954 in New York when he was on a project with Teo Macero working yeah. in an area creating a label called Debut. And it seemed to me that all of that, uh, that well of creativity was beginning to bubble at that time and uh -huh. here in the 70s 20 years later to see it in such a mature form is really a gratifying thing especially on his 54th birthday <laughs> right george for a moment about you i listened to you and i uh, i think well somewhere back in the very depths of your soul uh maybe there lurks a, a lester young just gently or a coleman hawkins who were some of the influences? Uh, People that um, helped inspire you and guide you musically. Musically? Uh, tenor players. Tenor players. Well, I'd say uh, the, one, the names you name, uh, Lester, Coleman, Ben Webster, Sonny Rollins, John Coltrane, Charlie Parker, just the whole list, Earl Bostick. You see, I, can, I can go on and on, you know, but at a certain, at a certain point, I, uh, I stopped listening to... Uh, other saxophonists and start listening to the rain, water fall, thunder, things in nature, you know, birds, and uh, start listening from from my own heartbeat inside. However, it was probably a growth from uh, different influences that uh, I would say influenced my particular style of playing. Now, is there a, a goal that you have in 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 the world of jazz that you've thought about specifically? Uh, uh, a level that you want to reach beyond what uh, is already here for you now? Yeah, yeah, it's a goal. I have a goal. Care to reveal it? Well, it's it's hard. Uh, a, t a lot of words. I don't, I don't know, but uh, I like. I saw the skies in New York one Christmas. It was real, it was real bright that particular night, and uh, I was up uptown by the George Washington Bridge, and I walked down the terrace and I looked up in the sky. And it was, seemed like it was a million stars in the sky. And I, I, told, I told, told my friend, I said, wow, if I could only create this in music, it would really, I would really have some type of celestial symphony. And so, you know, that's what I, I, I kind of envision this type of thing with music now, like it's endless, infinite. You know. 
George Adams, uh, thank you for sharing some of your private thoughts about thank music as well as a tribute to Charlie Mingus. Thank you very much. Pleasure meeting you. My pleasure. This is Lake Hammond for Minnesota Public Radio.